The following segment is sponsored by Any Hour Services. I am here with Mike Wilson of Any Hour Services. He's going to be giving us some tips. Now, today we're talking about our air conditioning and making sure it's flowing right. How are we needing to know if it's not working correctly? Well, your first indication that it's not working right is you're probably uncomfortable in the house. And you're going to want to compare it to how it's been in the past. So if you remember, um, or if you have to go and turn the thermostat down more often than you used to, yeah. or uh, set the temperature lower, like if, you, if 72 used to keep you comfortable, but now you're having to take it to 70 to keep you comfortable, that's probably an indication that you need to do a little bit of maintenance to try and boost the performance of the system. Well, the weather is hot right now, so we yeah. want to make sure our air conditioning is working correctly. Is there anything we can do as homeowners at home ourselves? Absolutely. And I, I think that understanding the basics of how it works really makes the maintenance make a lot more sense. And so with your air conditioner, there's two main parts. You've got the outdoor unit that people typically think that's the air conditioner, but there's another important part inside the house, and there's this coil that sits above the furnace usually and there are these copper tubes that are flowing through it and it actually connects the inside and the outside unit because the way that your system works is it is pulling as much warm stale air back through the house blowing it over these coils making it super cold and then pushing that cold air out to the house when the warm air comes over here it transfers the heat to the refrigerant that get pumps that gets pumped outside and there's a big fan that's pulling air in from the outside and blasting it out the top and it's just a continual loop and if you want to boost the performance of your system System, always think how do I maximize airflow airflow that's the most important thing it is yeah and I like to use an illustration of a blow dryer because it's a it's a good example you've got a motor in here that's pushing air out mm -hmm. and pulling air back and it's very similar to how your air conditioner works now anything that gets in the way of it pulling air back is going to cause it to work harder and the same thing with pushing air out this motor the reason i like the hair dryers you can actually hear how much harder the motor is working so something in the way you hear wow. it rev up and on the front oh, yeah. too you hear that right and i think a lot of people understand that how that works but when you relate it to your air conditioner uh, blocking the air coming back to the unit is a lot like a dirty filter blocking it being blown out is a lot like closing off rooms or closing off vents throughout the house so anything you can do like keep a clean air filter go to wherever okay. your air filter is take it out hold it up to the light if you can't see light through it you're not getting air through it either so it's not good <laughs> it's not good you want to keep that clean that's the easiest thing to do and then go around the house and open up the vents make sure you don't have anything blocking the return air vent sometimes furniture gets pushed up against it or in kids rooms things get piled on top of it the other area where airflow is important is at the outside unit during the summer, when it's pulling air in, there's dirt in the air, there's cotton Ooh, fuzz. getting sucked in there. Gra grass clippings, and it usually doesn't make it all the way in, but there's coils in here that block it, and it's like having a dirty filter. So when you're outside, grab a garden hose and spray the thing off. The cleaner you can get those fins, the more that thing's going to be able to breathe, and it's going to help it perform better. Which is what we want during the summer. We want to be able to have the best airflow possible. Is there anything else we need to do? In the maintenance uh, section of the owner's manual for this, it, there is a part that says in addition to all the maintenance that you do you should have your system inspected regularly by a properly trained technician and really that just means there's some things that the manufacturers want someone with the right tools and know-how to come out and check to make sure it's working right it's like changing the oil in your car so if you haven't done the maintenance on your system find somebody to help you out with that and trust the professionals okay you're amazing Mike thanks for showing us the tips and tricks on how to do this and you know keep our air running great at home you're welcome thanks so much